Welcome to 411 on Movies, where I update you with all the latest happenings in the world of movies, from the trendy news to upcoming projects to the latest movies showing in the cinema. My name is Ahina Arthur, and you are watching Afro Revel TV. <music> Veteran Nollywood filmmaker Tunde Kilani has announced plans to produce a new movie immortalizing late Fuji icon Ayinde Barrister. Last year, Tunde Kilani produced a biopic about the late Akala musician Ainla Omowura. Uh, that film, titled Ainla, was one of the most successful Nollywood movies of last year grossing over a hundred million naira at the Nigerian box office. The character Ayinla was well embodied by Ade Dimeji Latif. And right now, Ade Dimeji Latif has been picked to play another icon. This time around, Ade Dimeji Latif will be playing Bola Tinubu, the two-time governor of Lagos State, in a movie produced by Shewu Olaketui and is titled the last man standing. The production of this biopic is being kept under wraps and it is pretty interesting that the story of the two-time governor of Lagos State, Bola Tinobu, will be told. Um, the producer of the film has cleared the air about speculations that the biopic is a propaganda to support Tinubu's um, presidential bid coming in 2023. Well, I agree with you, but my question is why now? I mean, you could have made this film last year. This is 2022, just nine months away from 2023. Anyway, this film marks Adedineji Latif's fourth biopic. I mean, he's pretty good with the biopics. Meanwhile, Hollywood's biggest stars gathered in person for the first major awards show of the season, the 28th Screen Actors Guild Awards, also known as SAGS Awards. Will Smith won his first SAG Awards and he gave a very emotional acceptance speech and he even cried during an interview backstage. Anyway, <laughs> he won the best male actor in a leading role for his character in the film King Richard, which is a biopic about Venus and Serena Williams' father. Will Smith has gotten over eight nominations for this film, including the Academy Awards, also known as the Oscars. Now, if you must know, Will Smith has never won an Oscar in his entire career. In fact, the last time he was nominated was 15 years ago for the 2007 movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. Sadly, he lost to Forrest Whitaker for The Last King of Scotland. Prior to that nomination, in 2002, Will Smith was nominated for playing the role of the boxing legend Muhammad Ali in the biopic Ali. But he ended up losing to Denzel Washington for Training Day. Well, I hope this time around, Will Smith gets an Oscar for King Richard. I'm really rooting for you, Will Smith. So, back to SAG Awards. Succession, Ted Lasso, Squid Game, and Coda were among the top winners of the night. Also, Ho Young Jung, Helen Mirren, and Jessica Chastain also went home with award plaques. There was a sudden moment during the night to bring attention to Ukraine. In the wake of the ongoing crisis in Ukraine, some of the biggest entertainment companies are showing solidarity with Ukraine in their own way. Like Warner Bros, who has announced that it will halt all plans to release the Batman in Russia. So Russians are not going to see the latest Batman. Also, Sony Pictures has announced plans to post all its upcoming films, including the anti-hero film Mobius in Russia. And lastly, and the last straw that breaks the camel's back, Walt Disney, the biggest production company in the world, has halted release of all its upcoming films in Russia following the country's invasion of Ukraine. And back home in Nigeria, Nollywood is mourning the death of veteran actors Larry Williams and Shade Akintayo. 
May their souls rest in peace. Now it's time to check out some of the latest movies showing in cinemas across Nigeria. The Batman Batman ventures into Gotham City's underworld when a sadistic killer leaves behind a trail of cryptic clues. As the evidence begins to lead closer to home and the skill of the perpetrator's plans become clear, forge new relationships, unmask the culprits, and bring to justice the abuse of power and corruption that has long plagued the metropolis. The film is directed by Matt Reeves and it stars Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne, also known as Batman. <music> The American King In 2020, a mysterious priestess arrives in the USA to fulfill a 400-year prophecy to choose an American King and it is played by Akon, yes, the popular superstar Akon, who will rebuild an ancient African kingdom. The CIA scrambles to find information for the president, leading to the unraveling of the most guarded secrets about the founding of the USA. The film stars Akon, Aina Nigwe, Insei Ipe Etim, among others. Man Down Man Down tells the story of a committed Christian woman who found herself caught up in the web of lust. The story takes us through her struggles, her challenges, and her fights for redemption against all odds. Cake. As a new year rolls in, Tomiwa is not holding back anymore. He is going to tell Chaya about how he feels about her. He picks a date and sets the scene right. But just before then, Chaya calls in a special order. All excited, her fiancé, Tio Maduka, has proposed and she can't think of a better person to make her wedding cake. Yeah, Tomiwa is going to make her wedding cake and Tomiwa is devastated. <music> Big Brother Ninja star Sasuke stars in this film alongside Folu Storms, Patience Ozoko, Sophie Alakija and Tokpe Tidela. <music> Finally, Uncharted. Uncharted stars Tom Holland, the Batman guy, as Nathan Drake and Mark Wahlberg as, the, as his mentor, Victor Sullivan. Drake is recruited by Sullivan in a race against corrupt billionaire Santiago Mocada, played by Antonio Banderas, and machinery leader Joe Braddock to locate the fabled treasure of the Magellan expedition. The film has grossed over $230 million worldwide against a production budget of $120 million. And that is all of 411 and Movies. Thank you for watching. Join me again next week as I bring you more news and more updates. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and follow Afro Rebel TV across all our social media platforms. My name is Ahina Arthur. Bye. <music>